What's up guys, welcome back to the Ultimate Nature Systems channel. My name is Parker and today I'm going to show you how to install and troubleshoot the UNS Pro Regulator. After removing your regulator from the box, double check that all joints are properly tightened. This includes the small pressure plate on the bottom of the regulator. Double check that your O-ring is properly seated on the adapter and undamaged. It's fairly common that your solenoid will come loose during transport. For this, simply put it back into a vertical position and retighten the screw on the bottom. Also, double check that your manifolds come with a pre-installed O-ring between them and the bubble counter. This is important for preventing leaks. And make sure these are retightened properly. Inside of the box, we have instructions for setup and installation, a wrench to tighten the regulator onto the cylinder, replacement O-rings and tools, our dual stage UNS Pro regulator, as well as the power adapter box. It's important to note that the regulator should come with two bubble manifolds pre-installed. The UNS Pro regulator is designed for CO2 canisters that come with a CGA320 adapter, and we offer four sizes of these at 2.5 pounds, 5 pounds, 10 pounds, and 20 pounds. For the sake of the video, I'm going to be using the 5 pound canister for demonstration, but troubleshooting and maintenance is going to be the same between all sizes. When attaching the regulator, screw it on tightly by hand, and then make sure it's secured using the included wrench. If it's loose, you could have possible leaks. The Pro Regulator comes pre-installed with two manifolds, and it's important to note that even if you are adding more, that this manifold will remain on the end as it serves as an end cap. And you can tell it's the end cap because it doesn't have a hole in the middle. To remove the bubble manifold, use the included hex wrench to loosen the screws and then pull it off. Before you attach an additional manifold, double check that there is an o-ring included. To attach an additional manifold, first snap it into place, then using the included hex wrench, tighten the screws in. The fit of these screws should be snug, but it's important not to over tighten them as you risk damaging the screw. Lastly, reattach the end cap. Once your regulator is completely tightened to the cylinder, you're ready to plug in your solenoid. You should hear a click when it activates. Before troubleshooting your Pro Regulator, make sure that the solenoid is completely unplugged and that all valves are completely closed, both on the regulator body and on the main cylinder. The pressure plate on the bottom of the regulator can get deformed over time, and this will give you false readings on your gauges. If this happens, you will need to get a replacement. To replace the pressure plate, start by unscrewing it from the body of the regulator. Then, using a pair of pliers, remove the inside piece and replace it with the new one. Lastly, make sure that the spring is in the proper position and re-screw on the pressure plate. If you find that your solenoid isn't clicking when it's activated and connected to power, you may have a faulty solenoid. And if you find that when you move the wires, the solenoid clicks, you may need a replacement as well. One way to tell if your solenoid is faulty is to open up the regulator valve completely. And if you notice that bubbles don't stop or actually increase, you may have a faulty solenoid. If your solenoid isn't clicking when plugged in, we recommend trying to unscrew it, removing it completely, and reinstalling it, and see if that fixes the issue. It's completely normal for there to still be some bubbles in the bubble counter, even after the power is turned off. This should only last for a few moments. To check for leaks in your system, one way you can do it is by doing the soapy water test. If you spray soapy water onto areas of suspected leaks, bubbles should form. If you suspect a leak, double check that your O-ring is seated properly and is undamaged, and make sure the adapter is fully tightened onto the cylinder. Over time, the O-ring in your adapter may expand, in which case, you'll need to replace it. We provide replacements in the tool bag. We recommend only using one check valve per manifold because if you use more than one you may run into problems with pressure. If you find a leak, double check that all joints are correctly fastened and that you have an o-ring in the proper positions. If you find that your cylinder is emptying quickly after installation, double check for leaks in the system. Water dissipating from your bubble counters is completely normal, and if you find that you're losing water too quickly, you could replace the water with mineral oil. Before removing the regulator from the cylinder, make sure that all valves are completely closed, and it's completely normal to hear some air purging out when you unscrew. Then, remove it by hand. 
And that's it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.